at Delsey. We've heard amazing stories. We've listened to eyewitness testimony. And we've seen credible evidence. But after everything they've seen and heard, they're still on the fence. There's still one more place I want to take Pat and Kevin, which may help bring them around. I really find it hard to believe that there's a secret bunker hidden somewhere here. Best way to keep a secret? Hide it in plain sight. Although we've seen some mind-boggling things at the Dulce base in New Mexico, if there's any doubt about whether a base such as Dulce could exist, we are here at White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, the home of one of our government's best kept secrets. We're here at the Greenbrier, and the Greenbrier was a beautiful hotel built in 1913, but underneath the Greenbrier and set into the hill is the congressional facility for maintaining continuity of government in the event of a nuclear war. We're about to meet Linda Walls, who is going to take us through this facility and point out all the features that make this facility so important to us. This hotel, this property has a tremendous history. We date the resort to 1778, 6,500 acres, 721 guest rooms. Just standing here looking around, I really find it hard to believe that there's a secret bunker hidden somewhere here. Believe it. When was it actually built? The construction was between 1958 and 1961. And on top of the bunker is the West Virginia wing. About how big is the bunker? 112,544 square feet. Best way to keep a secret? Hide it in plain sight. Behind this, you're going to be amazed at what you'll see. You mean you're not talking about these doors right here? So how do you open it? Well, if you could just help. Thanks, Pat. Sure. Watch your fingers. Okay. Once you move the wall, you uncover an 18-ton vault door, one of three in the facility that closed off the underground structure from the outside world. Oh. Once the decision would have been made to seal the bunker, there would have been no way to get in from the outside. There was a 60-day supply of food. There was a 42-day supply of diesel fuel. To have even known about this facility, you would have had to have had a top secret government security clearance. However, every day, hotel guests here at Greenbrier walk through these camouflaged big vault doors into this conference center, and they never knew they were standing in a top secret government facility. It's huge. It's over 16,000 square feet. Thousands of people have been in here, but they didn't know they were actually in a part of the bunker. This room was used for exhibits, medical exhibits, uh, book exhibits, parties. When the time came that the government had to continue, what did this room become? The room would have been subdivided into 24 offices for the support staff of Congress. I mean, there are hospitals, dormitories, there's even a crematorium. There are places for families and aides to stay. Now, how is it possible that this place was kept a secret without the uh, hotel employees and people of the town knowing about it? I, like so many others, had heard for years that there was something here. So you were working here while the bunker was still a secret? Yes. Did you ever see somebody walking through the hotel, suspicious-looking character, and think, 
he must be on his way to the secret facilities. We did wonder about some of those television repairmen. So that was the cover. All these people for television repair crews came in, and literally they were the ones working on this facility. Now we know they were spending 85% of their time on shelter management. This whole thing sounds like a page from a spy novel, and if the government can construct a facility of this size in plain sight and have it be completely covered up, I guess there's a possibility that in Dulce, New Mexico, something similar on a much larger scale could happen, given it's in the middle of nowhere. When did you first learn, for real, what this was? the day the article appeared in the Washington Post magazine. Until the Washington Post broke the story, nobody knew that this hotel was a cover for an underground facility, literally a bunker, to house the legislative branch of government in time of war. The last government truck left July 31st, 1995. So that's three years it might have taken to actually build a facility to replace this. Unless there were other facilities already in existence. Was, exactly. When you visit a place like Greenbrier with this extensive facility that was constructed under the very eyes of the people working here, it tells me that of course you could have a Delsa. Bill has a point that, that it's very incredible that this kind of facility can be built right in front of the public eye. We know that this underground facility is 112,000 square feet. And based on what we learned about the secret base in Dulce and some calculations that I did, I actually learned that it could be over 3,000 times the size of a facility at Greenbrier. We know that Greenbrier took three years to build, so it could have taken 10 years, decades, to construct any kind of base at Dulce. And there's not even any evidence that it was ever built in the first place. The people who built Dulce could have built it for a variety of reasons, with a variety of cover stories. And where are they building it? On reservation land. Nobody's going to question that. And even if they did, they'd be told to shut up. I mean, Homo sapiens were capable of incredible things. If we really put our mind to it, if engineers really wanted to build a base under Archuleta Mesa and keep it a secret, uh, we have the technology to do that. It could be done. Here's what I believe. We've spoken to first-hand witnesses, eyewitnesses, who've seen craft hovering over the Archuleta Mesa. We've spoken to people who've talked about cattle mutilations, who've actually seen black helicopters hovering over the countryside. We've seen actual photos of the strangest kind of entity I've ever seen in my entire life, a fetus in the womb of a mutilated cow, but, but it's not a cow fetus. What is it? Is there some strange genetic experimentation going on in Archuleta? Is there interbreeding of species going on and incubation inside cows, which is why they're mutilating these cattle? If you don't believe that all this can go on under the very eyes of an entire population, we went to Greenbrier in West Virginia a completely undisclosed, top secret, underground base constructed right before the very eyes of hundreds of hotel guests and workers. Greenbrier proves that underground secret bases are not just a possibility, but probably an absolute reality.